How dare you? Meg boiling as Lady C exposed Marcus Anderson leaked her secrets to Scobie in Endgame. Omid Scobie's attempts to wow readers with his revelations appear to have failed, as he received rather mediocre reviews from those who first read it. Scobie's considered a sympathiser of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, with past connections suggesting that he's their friend, an unofficial mouthpiece. There are allegations that both the Sussexes and Scobie are all said to be trying to stay away. Scobie's words haven't yet been fully received even by the New York Times a usual Sussex sympathiser, which described the Endgame chapter as a press release drafted by Chai P.T. with poor criticism. The publication's writer believes that this work is not much different from Prince Harry's travel memoir, in which the Duke takes refuge at the royal family because of a number of issues, including their behaviour towards his wife. It's been further warned that fans will be disappointed if they expect to read anything they haven't heard of due to ruthless penmanship. However, readers hoping for a final crushing blow to the rumour mill will be disappointed. We've heard a lot about it before, from Fergie, from Diana, from Charles. From Harry and even Harry again, describing how a book within a book is dedicated to setting the record straight about the Sussexes' fallout with the royal family. It's been admitted that other members of the family definitely don't get the same adorable tone as Harry and Meghan. She added that despite his best efforts to paint them in a positive light, he didn't support Lies reports. Marcus Anderson is the source of the final season's content. Meghan pours a heart out to Marcus and he then fills in the details. Anderson was there from the beginning. Sabian Anderson's connection has been known for a long time. Many people suspect this is how information was transmitted in the first place. It's clear that the STS information comes directly from Meghan. Meanwhile, royal commentator Jenny Bond confirmed that sources close to both Buckingham Palace, as well as Prince William and Princess Kate, provided him with information and accounts as part of Book B, said on GB News. I find it hard to believe that, honestly, close friends like him talk about Catherine and William or sources at Buckingham Palace are talking publicly or even privately with Omid Scobie about his book. I just don't think that will happen. I'm struggling to find any new facts. There are a lot of opinions, there's lots of dirty things and accusations described and I agree with these adjectives, toxic. I think it's just plain nasty and cruel. There are a lot of claims being thrown around that I don't think Scobie is supported. You know he's entitled to his opinion, he's a journalist. The Dutch translation of Omid's book was released worldwide on Tuesday. King Charles, who's said to have made shocking racist comments about Archie, said in interviews this week that UK law prevents him from revealing the names of the royals, mentioning details in private letters from Meghan's page to King Charles. Taken from a review copy of the book sent to Dutch journalists, which appears to contain the identity of the royal, who's said to have made comments referring to letters written between Meghan and the King discussing this issue, the Dutch version of the book says. But in those private letters, an identity was revealed and it was confirmed that this extra paragraph was added just so that Charles could link into the story. ITV's Chris Shipp said that he was so confused it's unclear how the translation of Omid Scobie's book into Dutch could have accidentally named the royal racists if those names weren't in the original English version. Also, remember Harry told ITV that he never claimed anyone was racist. 